Welcome everybody. Hello, hello. How are we all? So excited to be here for your bonus session. Oh, and as everybody is coming to find us, let me know that you are here. I hope you are able to join us in Facebook. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. Um, I hope you've got the right code for if you're wanting to come and join me in Zoom. The code is 1717. Good to see you here. I've got you on Facebook as well. So, so exciting. Let me put that there so I can see your comments as they're coming in. Alrighty, let's dive in. We have got an incredible session for you today. I was guided to provide this after reading all of your comments, seeing all your questions coming in, um, seeing what's coming up for you, where you're at in um, your growth journey and what you're wanting to achieve in life. And so this is this is for you. So I have a question for you. I just want you to take a moment as we get started to reconnect with your intention. What is your intention for our time together? So when you saw the registration page, you were invited into Limitless Wealth, you were like, yes, that's for me. What was your intention? Why, why are you coming here? Why did you allow me into your inbox? What was your intention? What, what were you wanting to have help with? And what was your commitment to yourself? And let me know in the comments. We'd love to hear in the comments, just as a reminder, what your intention was for our time together. Now we are breaking through the barriers to receiving. So as you tune in back into your intention, I've got a question for you. It's a really important question because it impacts how we receive anything, including money. So are you taking or receiving this gift of limitless wealth that I'm giving you? You might be like, huh? <laughs> Why is she asking me that? <laughs> what is the energetic difference of taking and receiving? And to think about how this is then reflected in all areas of your life and where else is this showing up? Because there is a, a big energetic difference between being a receiver and being a taker. Does that make sense? What are we doing energetically when we take something? So just inviting you just to notice in your in, in your body, like, am I taking or am I receiving limitless wealth? Am I taking this or am I receiving it? And just as you're tuning into this, so thinking about the 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 difference in terms of the words that we're using when we're talking about taking and receiving. So when we're taking, we're taking with no sense of, of, of ownership or a desire to give anything in return, whether that is showing up and contributing, you know, an example here to others in the group, whether that is giving something in return to in your communities. It never has to be, of course, as we know, from the, the, the source of what we're receiving. This is an infinite field of giving and taking, giving and receiving that we are in, but are we giving and are we taking or are we giving and receiving? Does that make sense? So taking where we're in the energy of taking, where you can see, hang on, is this me? Is where we're in, there's a sense of entitlement, which is a mistaken belief that we're owed something. And that's where we're taking it. Receiving, when we're in our receiving energy, that's where we're open to it being offered to us and we're accepting it with gratitude. And depending on what you're receiving, then maybe you're receiving it with a, a humbleness. So if we find ourselves taking as opposed to, let's say, being a healthy receiver, what this comes down to is hidden self-worth limits. And so we're wanting to break through our receiving upper limits. And so this is why I wanted to talk about this as we dive into this today. So thinking about, okay, so where am I taking? Where am I receiving? Where am I taking something? Because there's actually a hidden agenda. I say hidden as in we're not aware of it. <laughs> there is a, a consciousness of lack and limitation because we don't feel 
worthy of receiving it. You don't feel enough. So we are taking to ensure we have enough rather than we are enough. Does that make sense? Whereas if we are receiving healthily, we're accepting what is given because we know that we are worthy of receiving. And then when appropriate, we're then able to extend the giving in, in you know, to, to others. Does that make sense? So I invite you to contemplate. Do you feel worthy of receiving this gift? Welcome, Rosemary. Hi, Carol. Hi, Lisa. Do you feel feel worthy of receiving this gift? And the reason why we want to contemplate this is because we are expanding our consciousness around receiving. So I'm inviting you now to, to contemplate this. So to do a receiving audit for yourself. So on your day-to-day -day interactions with others, so whether you're with you know family, friends, strangers, to think about, do I feel like I'm actually I'm more of a taker than a receiver? And a way to just to start to really contemplate this is just to be really mindful the next time anything is given to you. So whether this is, you know, it could be someone offering to take you out for dinner or some food and they say, oh no, I've got this. Or giving you a lift or giving you a job or a compliment. Do you receive compliments? or let someone open the door for you? Do you receive that? Do you receive a smile, a hug, a kiss? Someone's time that they've given you? That's so precious, someone's time. So I invite you to think, am I taking this or am I receiving this? Do I feel worthy of receiving this? That's the key thing. Does that make sense? Just seeing if I can see any questions coming in. Either way, the key thing is thinking about what are the feelings and the emotions that are spontaneously bubbling up as you're being given something. So you can think, am I taking this because I'm just taking it for granted? Or am I mindfully receiving it? So I just invite you just to sit with the feelings because we want to amplify really allowing ourselves to be a worthy receiver. And we know when we are in our receiving energy because we feel that wave of gratitude bubbling up. It can feel like a great big hug, can't it? When we're really allowing ourselves to feel that, that um, gratitude. Let me know what's resonating and where, because we get busy, we can get disconnected, we can start to take instead of receiving. And this is where we energetically are creating energetic blocks to our receiving. Beautiful. So this is so key to be able to allow ourselves to open up to receive more and key for maintaining the flow of the cycle between giving and receiving because it's a it's a fundamental balance of of flow in life. And of course, receiving often comes in forms that may not be immediately recognized, such as opportunities, personal growth, unexpected blessings, all the things. And the key thing here is being really aware and grateful for these manifestations. That then amplifies the cycle, it reinforces it. Which is why we need to fully receive it. It's why in all my programs, we celebrate daily wins, I invite people to share their wins so they can fully receive it. They can be witnessed in receiving it. We have a prize draw for everyone who is sharing their, their wins as well. So this is really important. And the, the cycle of, of, of giving and receiving is continuous. Each act of, of giving then leads to opportunities to receive and each act of receiving then is providing new energy and new resources to, to give. It's a beautiful flow of, of energy and this flow supports our personal growth our spiritual development we have a deeper connection with with each other and with uh, with the universe so 
So we really want to be able to start to recognize how we can amplify our receiving so that we're going to allow more money to come in, allow more love to come in, allow more health to come in, more opportunities to come in, all the things that we can get to experience in, in our life. So we've been talking about the six energetic blocks that can come up as we are on our journey for mastering wealth energetics um, over the last week or so together. And these energetic blocks have a massive impact on entrepreneurs in, in so many ways. And we've been starting to dive into understanding how that uh, impacts you and I've given you the exact model and the steps to take so that we can continue on that arc of wealth consciousness transformation to fulfillment so you can have that brilliant life that you are creating. So let's start to unpick what's going on from a receiving perspective in terms of these six energetic blocks. So just to remind you what they what they are, pop them up on the pop them up on the screen for you. So we have the the first one is the the resonance rift. So this is the dissonance between our higher self, our conscious mind and our subconscious. And when we've got this going on, this can lead to confusion, lack of clarity in decision making. We can have these conflicting thoughts. We've talked about inner conflict and feelings that really slow down our ability to make confident choices, even if the, if the choice feels scary to make. And then that leads to missed opportunities or inconsistent actions and all those things. Your higher self, your super consciousness has a big mission and a big purpose for this brilliant life of yours. And our programming can block us from allowing ourselves to fully receive this mission and this purpose. Have you fully allowed yourself to receive yours? Like on a scale of one to 10, how much have you fully allowed yourself to receive your, your mission and your purpose? Let me know in the comments. Let's see where, where we're all at. Yes, absolutely. So as you say, it sounds as if taking is taken for granted rather than being thankful for something. Yeah. Yeah. It's a sense of entitlement with it. Just taking it. The energy is very, very different behind it. And when we take it, we don't actually allow ourselves to receive it, if that makes sense, energetically. So we've got some sixes around really allowing ourselves to fully receive the mission. We've got three, the number three came to me, which is shocking. So yes, exactly. So this is where we really can open up ourselves to receive even more so that we're not blocking our mission because then why are we going to, if we're blocking receiving our mission, going to allow ourselves to receive more money coming in? Because we're blocking the the very purpose that we're here to how we give value and contribute to the collective. As you feel into this, is then thinking about okay, so recognizing we may be blocking our soul's purpose and us allowing ourselves to fully receive that. And then thinking about okay, so what's happening in within the body? So if the body is conditioned to react negatively to things like money or sales or it's going to create that emotional resistance and that physical resistance actually to engaging in the activities that are going to be crucial for business success and growth so we all know that one around welcome christina procrastination avoidance anxiety all this stuff can bubble up as we're growing our businesses and navigating financial success and sales opportunities so when we think about what are the somatic default set points in relation to receiving when you're receiving something so whether this is a gift or a compliment or constructive feedback perhaps a request to do something differently from a loved one do you fully receive that or do you dismiss it do you castrate that person and what i mean by that is you know, when someone says, oh, I love your dress or I love your your jumper and you go, oh, this old thing, I just bought it from, you know, some cheap shop. <laughs> or, or do you say, thank you, I received that. 
Or do you say, yeah, but, you know, oh, you're so good at this. Yeah, but. And so we just kind of cut it off. Or think of it like a hot potato. <laughs> as soon as someone gives you a compliment, it triggers your nervous system. So you can say, I have to give them one back. Otherwise, you start to feel guilty. Instead of being able to say, oh, thank you so much. I received that. One of the mentors I work with models is so well, I always have three or four uh, mentors that I'm working with as I'm up leveling myself and she really models this well. So if she's given a compliment, she says, thank you, I received that. How does receiving it feel in your body? So if I had to say to you, to everybody, I'm speaking to you directly, whether you're live with me in the Zoom room or on Facebook or on the replay. I see you. I offer you love and acceptance. Can you receive that? Can you say, thank you, I received that? Can you say it and feel good about it? Of course we can all say it, but we might be like, something's feeling scratchy inside. So as I truly say that to you, I see you, I offer you love and acceptance. Type in the comments. Thank you, I received that if you can receive it. Or let me know in the comments if you like. On a scale of 1 to 10, it's like, yeah, I can't quite receive that. <laughs> like, I've got a 2 for that, or I've got a 7 for that. This is a powerful exercise to really notice, like, yeah, thank you, I received that. feels a little awkward. Yeah. So how awkward, like on a scale of 1 to 10? This is flushing out where we've got some areas of self-worth that need some love and some nurturing so that we can really amplify our receiving. Because how we do one thing is how we do everything. So if we are hot potating our, our receiving or feeling really awkward about receiving something and accepting it, when it is good for our higher self and receiving the things in the sense of that aren't good for us because we're receiving that experience, being able to receive all of our experiences has a massive impact on, it's going to have a massive impact on all areas of life, our wealth, our health, our self-love, our relationships with others. Christina saying, thank you, I received that. Hi, Jill, welcome. So lots to contemplate here, and this all ties in, of course, with our current identity and the if we've got an identity of feeling awkward in receiving our desired outcomes and receiving success, if we have an identity of struggle or we've got to work hard but we know don't we that our beliefs are a self-fulfilling prophecy and they are blocking us from accepting or recognizing opportunities for growth and success so do you have the identity and hold the self-concept of being a great receiver Do you accept all of yourselves? Because we can reject so many parts of ourselves. Often because of, you know, internal conflicts, societal pressures, negative self-perceptions. You know, we've talked this week about how we can, you know, if we are, to so have a, a think about if these resonate for you, to think about how these are impacting your receiving. So, if you're criticizing yourself or focusing on things that you've done wrong, making yourself wrong, you're rejecting an aspect of your identity or, or rejecting an aspect of your capabilities or your appearance that's having an impact on your self-worth and then you're receiving. And anywhere you're 
avoiding or denying feelings like anger, sadness, fear. This repression creates this disconnection from our true self. Again, creates a, 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 a rejection within which impacts our receiving. Anywhere we are perhaps conforming to societal expectations and norms, even when they're contradicting our personal values or desires, then that can lead to rejecting our true identity, our true preferences. Let me know what's landing. We've talked around shame and guilt, anywhere we're experiencing shame or guilt about aspects of ourselves again. And that could be to do with something, an experience in the past, our beliefs, past actions, causes us to disown parts of ourselves that creates that disconnect within our receiving because we're not allowing ourselves to be fully ourselves. Comparisonitis can kick in contact with uh, everything that goes on in social media, media land and you know, just being in groups of people, we've got that programming from, from school, etc., or from siblings, depending on how your parents uh, navigated that, where you may have programming of comparing yourself to others and feeling inadequate if you aren't achieving X, Y, and Z. So again, we're rejecting parts of ourselves. So if you think of that rejection within, we get that reflected without on the outside which has an impact on our receiving. Big one, let me know if this one comes up for you, this fear of judgment or fear of rejection from others as we're growing our businesses creates that, those energy reversals, creates that inconsistency in our flow where we then have beliefs that we aren't going to be accepted. That then, of course, all has a impact on our nervous system response so anywhere we have unresolved trauma, that can lead us to us disconnecting and rejecting parts of ourselves. Of course, naturally, as a way of coping with pain, that disassociation, that response to trauma or extreme stress, we've then mentally, on that layer of our aura, disconnected from parts of our identity as a way to protect ourselves. And we need to accept all of our experiences, all of ourselves, to have fully received that higher consciousness purpose in this life and all of the experiences that we have within this life, that we then get to feed back up through to our higher self, our oversoul, back into the collective consciousness. So if we think of when we have contrast in our life and we are experiencing that and we want to reject it, we're then creating this push-pull energetically in our system. So we say we want more money. Will we allow ourselves to receive all that comes with more money? So more responsibility. We will be required more of ourselves, better standards, better boundaries to be able to hold the more money. Can we, can we receive that? Let me know what's, what's landing. Hi, Aisling. If we think about this in terms of all that's going on then energetically for us, the energy reversals that we've talked about this week, they can disrupt the natural flow of creative energy or productive energy, which all has an impact of, of how long you're able to maintain the flow state, how much energy, how strong your flow state is. We want to clear as much of the energy reversals as, as we can so that we're really amplifying that coherence in your flow state so that you are a superpower in terms of manifesting. And this disruption in your field then can just create more density in your fields, resulting in lack of motivation, start feeling stuck in things. And then, of course, that has a, an impact on your what you're receiving in life. And, you know, we see the impact in our meridians and our chakras. I know that when I'm working with people, um, you know, I, I feel things, I'm very clairsentient. And so I'll get a sensation in my left forehead where the triple warmer starts, where 
that showing that their nervous system is resp- is 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 triggered a fight fight freeze re- flop fawn response has been is incomplete in their nervous system so i know that and when we have found the exact thing that they need to to shift the sensation leaves my body that's how my guides show me that we've we've nailed it So all of this is going on, of course, and we can't see see it. This is why being self-aware is so important. So we can navigate and move through these blocks as they come up and, and we become aware of what has been hidden so that we're then able to amplify that flow, create that coherence to be able to have more of life, the experiences that we want, and to be able to fully receive them all. And if we have the dissonance in our strategies that we're implementing in our business, that has a massive impact, of course, on what we're then able to receive in terms of receive enjoying business. Business is fun. Like on a scale of one to 10, how fun is it running your business? Or does it feel stressful? If we're implementing strategies that are out of alignment, that is going to have an impact on whether we're going to allow more money and clients into our business and ultimately the overall success in terms of the impact that we're able to make with people. If we're not working with the amount of people that we're meant to be working with, our impact's reduced massively, which means our clients don't get to receive what they've come here to receive from you. And ultimately, you don't get to receive because you're not able to fulfill that full soul's mission. So would you like to start to heal and amplify your receiving so we can start to let go of the resistance around receiving? And this goes so deep. You know, in our programs, we do the, the deep inner healing work around the past traumas, forgiveness with self-compassion alongside all of our effective manifesting rituals. But I would love for us to start to change the energy around this for you. And before we do, a couple of questions came in. I can see Christina's here, which is great because they came in from Christina in relation to ancestral lineages and our identities and our sense of self related to manifesting money and wealth and and what to do in relation to this. So... Let me just share these questions with you and I'll speak to them before we before we do the the uh the manifesting. And if there's any questions that pop in afterwards, if you're on the replay, just pop them below the video and I'll I'll pick them up as I as I spot them. So Christina said, can you speak speak into having cross-cultural root, roots of oppressed and oppressors and their effect with money and wealth manifestation in relation to identity and sense of self? This is such a great question. And at that collective level, of course, we all have governmental, societal, cultural, collective imprints in our in our subconscious from our current experiences. And then from our ancestral experiences, they will have had governmental, societal, cultural, collective imprints going into them. So all of this is coming down in, into the cells of our body, passed down from our ancestors, the trauma of our ancestors, and their experiences remembered in the cells of our body, impacting our health, impacting our attachment styles, impacting our relationships our, across all aspects of life, including our relationship with money. And these imprints will directly impact the development of our identity and the sense of self held within the subconscious. And as I was thinking about this, an example that has affected the whole world and COVID will be one for uh, the lineage that we all have as well. But the one that we have all got, but from different angles, of course, because of depending on the country that we were in and what the governments were doing is if we think about World War II. So from 1939 to 1945, 
people were dealing with war. And if we think about the generations that came after that, what has been the impact of that trauma in their their lineage? Globally, so much loss in terms of grief, loss of life, loss of jobs, loss of love, loss, loss of opportunities, huge poverty, lots of scarcity. And all of this playing in people's consciousness for a long period of time it's a huge part of their reality so if we think generationally how this global impact has had an effect on our timelines our consciousness when i think of my own family i'll share this with you so you can you can see and then think about how this may your personal experiences with your family members so my mum was born in 1943, and when she was born, her dad was away at war. He was a naval officer. He was Captain Captain Roderick Mackenzie, and he'd been um, a big part in the war effort, which that meant she didn't see her dad till she was three. And then when she grew up in, a, in, in, in her family, the fear around there being enough in, from day-to-day -day living was huge. And... 30 years later, she became a parent with me. And there's lots of behaviours that when I look back that are, I would say, classic post-war years behaviours, if that makes sense. So um, tell, let me know in the comments if you've got uh, family members that do this. Saving everything, even like elastic bands, they're like gold. Don't throw them away. Milk cartons, darning socks, gluing bro broken dishes back together saving parts of things in case they're useful for something else even if you didn't need it someone else might not worrying about food in the cupboards going out of date perfectly good we can eat it sometimes that was questionable but we can start to see how the behaviors carry on does that make sense and then i think about my dad so he was born in 1931 and was sent away on a train to the countryside when they evacuated all the kids out of London. And eventually his mum joined him and his brother. And while um, his dad actually stayed in London, uh, he was working on the London Underground, so he was busy. Uh, but they eventually split up and his uh, my dad's mum raised her two boys as a single parent. And they hardly saw their dad. They actually had no relationship with him to speak of. And guess what? I became a single mom myself. I've raised my two boys without them having a relationship to speak of with their father. And as I look back and observe myself, I can see so many generational programmings uh, running. My cousin had the same outcome, different circumstances. Um, my eldest cousin, so through the same familiar line, single mom, two sons, father, absent father. The scenario is all very different how they've manifested, but it just shows the power of what is going on in our frequency that is creating our realities. So if we think about from what's happening, you know, just from this collective event from the world for world war passed down through families and generations and belief systems, and it's going to be different, of course, from the different governmental programming that has come through. But ultimately, that, very common energetic template around poverty and lack consciousness is is there in ourselves and unless we do the inner work and break the pattern for ourselves we're passing it on for future generations to to come so this is why it's so important to be really working on becoming more and more self-aware and how so that we can collapse these timelines so that we don't have to be recreating this in our reality and our generations beyond us are able to have, not have that ancestral lineage passed down to them. How can we be a good ancestor for our future generations? So this is where by doing this inner work, it's absolutely so powerful. Yes. 
but hearing about how hard things were and their uncle had to put 10 new handles on a 100-year-old spade and darned everything, never seemed to throw anything away. Okay, yeah. It is, it's all there, isn't it? There, sitting there in our energy fields, in the collective consciousness. Let me know what resonates for you out of that and how it's affected your families, you know, that experience. When we think of that one shared experience that collectively, again, different parts of the planet would have experienced it differently but how that has impacted your life now when you think about your ancestral lineage and what you're holding in your subconscious that you're not aware of, but your body knows and the layers of your aura know, your Akashic Records knows. It's just holding this, every thought, emotion, word, deed that has been passed down through your, your lineage. All your experiences, your past life, all there held in your Kashuk records. And so often we are our own ancestors from a past life perspective. And so when we bring that into our energy field, it's like, hmm, my goodness, so I could have been my great, 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 great grandfather. And now I'm getting to experience all the stuff that I didn't deal with back then. Okay, so. Really excited to see what lands for you because this is deep stuff and really shows the power of this work. Christina had another question. She said, fascinating is that I just muscle tested and my body doesn't want more money, though it's called for. Can you share insights on how to approach this on clearing the resistance? Consciously, the desire is there for bigger impact, income and impact and the higher self has channeled a lot of things through already that I know what is being created and what is in alignment. Now it's about clearing what no longer serves to truly bringing it into being. Yes, Christina, helix it. This is exactly why I teach and coach helixing because our conscious mind is going to tell us that we're motivated and we're committed and we want more money and we want all the things. And then our subconscious mind is like, bless her, <laughs> we're not going to do that. The computer program that we're currently running, the current identity is that we've got to deliver something different. And the higher self is like, will you two just sort yourself out and get into alignment? You know, we've got this life purpose, this mission to live. We've got an impact to make. We've come to this planet to create, to love, to have fun, to be in higher frequencies of joy and to create and to have this brilliant life. And so this is why we do the higher self-invocation before we muscle test, because it ensures you have that consistency in your results. It reduces interference. And this is where you can have inconsistencies in your results with, you know, some answers coming from your conscious mind one moment and then your subconscious the next because you haven't properly set yourself up. And that's why when we're energy testing, when we think we know the answer, I want more money. Yes. And the body says, actually, no. So this is why we do this, because otherwise we are allowing the blind spots to stay if that makes sense. So that's why the energy testing is so important. So instead of thinking, we're going, okay, I'm going to muscle test, I want more money, and then observe and notice to see after you've aligned the different layers of your consciousness, what is being revealed. Because there's so much that can be behind that. So the conscious mind is like, yep, I want more money, it's all good. And then the subconscious is revealing that there is a somatic default set point or an identity piece or an energy reversal that is slowing things down and actually because of the programming is not going to allow that in. So what can be behind that? I want more money, no, which is what we get when we do that muscle testing of I want more money. If you don't get that, yes, is the somatic default set points, is the nervous system's reached its capacity. Our identity is out of alignment of the identity we currently hold is cal calibrated to that current level of money coming in. So to, to clear this, you can get to the root of it. A great place to start is clearing the belief, I want more money, no, doing that one first, and then clearing any energy reversals Use the Limitless Wealth Guide that I've given you for the framework so you can do that. That will have 
you set up for success. And we dive into exactly this in our program, The Inner Circle, which I'm going to tell you guys more about later. And when you come into that, I can help you get to the root of all these inconsistencies in our consciousness that are slowing down that peak flow state or slowing down you having more success. Alrighty, so I hope that answered your question. Great questions. Thank you so much for answering them. Yes, the Zoom room is available. Just spotted that. But the Zoom link will be in the Facebook group in one of the posts there. So you'll be able to grab it there. Alrighty, let me know if there's any other questions. I'll just do a quick scan. And then we're going to, I want to guide you through an activation so that we can activate more receiving. Who is up for that? Oh, you're welcome. I received that. Beautiful. Okay, I'm just casting my eye over just to make sure I haven't missed any questions. Alrighty. Alrighty, let's do the activation around receiving. Alrighty, so I'm going to guide you through the higher self invocation. Then we're going to do some muscle testing, some energy testing around five beliefs to do with receiving. Then you're going to clear them. And then we're going to imprint what is going to serve you. Does that sound good? Alrighty, okay. So I'm going to guide you through. So just taking a nice deep breath just to kind of become centered. And then breathing up, letting all go, all energies that no longer serve. And then just inviting you to start to bring your awareness to your soul star chakra, that gateway to the Akashic record. As you start to increase your life force energy by breathing in for four, holding for four and breathing out for eight. And just to do this three times. Notice how your body responds as you do this. And then affirming to yourself, speaking to all levels of my consciousness, I intend that in the name of divine truth, love and light, let all information come from my highest good and the highest good of all. I'm creating a clear channel of communication and manifestation between my subconscious, conscious and higher self. They are 100% connected and in perfect alignment and all working towards my highest path and purpose. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just noticing how this feels in your body. And I also have to really receive that connection. And then we're going to stand up if you're not already standing. So you can muscle test, energy test with the sway test. Uh, you're going to say the statements out loud and see if you get a forward sway, which will be a yes, or a backward sway, which will be a no. If your body kind of goes round and round in a circle or stays stuck, then it's likely you've got an energy reversal there. Alrighty. So inviting you to take a moment now to jump up and to say these statements out loud and to notice whether you go backwards or forwards and as you're saying them out loud just really invite you just to, to do this slowly so you can notice the somatic response so beyond the going forwards or backwards do you have any different sensations start to appear maybe a flash of a memory may happen make a note of all of this this is your subconscious speaking to you so just to say these out loud so that you can follow along if you haven't got access to the screen. I am safe to receive more. I have to share what I'm given. This can be such a big block for receiving where we've been told you've got to share that programming from having siblings. 
I have an energy reversal to receiving compliments. I have an energy reversal to receiving gifts. I have an energy reversal to being given money. So we haven't made it, just given it. It may come in all forms. And I'm just going to give you a moment just to muscle test on those. And then we'll do the clearing. Some nice music on. Let me know in the comments when you have what your answers are, whether you've got a yes or a no. Okay, let's see what everyone's saying. Okay, got a mishmash. <laughs> Ready. Okay, okay, so we're going to now do the re releasing, so releasing, saying the releasing statement three times, once out loud, twice internally, so that you're holding that frequency for longer and you've got enough time to really see if you can connect in with the somatic response. And so I've put the guidance here for you. So if you're releasing a belief, you're holding CV17 with the tip of your fingertips, typically with your left hand, holding that there. And then if you've got an energy reversal, you're doing the karate chop as you're doing this. And so I'm going to guide you through with the first one and then just create some space for you so you can do, you know, two or three more and then move on to the imprinting and creating the coherence in your field. All right. So they are, oh, to say them out loud for you again. So your muscle testing on, I am safe to receive more. I have to share what I'm given. I have an energy reversal to receiving compliments. I have an energy reversal to receiving gifts. I have an energy reversal to being given money. Alrighty. So I'm going to invite you now to take, we're going to do the first one together. So just taking a nice deep breath in, breathing in full. Breathing out for four. Coming down into your heart and holding CV17. I'm ready to release. I'm safe to receive no. I release and delete this in all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. And just observe how this feels in your body. And then silently saying this, I'll say it out loud so you can follow along. I'm ready to release. I'm safe to receive, no. I release and delete this in all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Just breathing in for four, and breathing out for four. I'm ready to release. I am safe to receive no. I release and delete this from all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Let's deep breath in. And out. Beautiful. So focus on the ones that you have got now, I invite you to do two more if you've got two more to do. 
So saying the phrase out loud once and then twice internally. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll just scan the chat and help everybody. The statement I have to share what I'm given in this context is, is not good <laughs> because um, this is where um, where I have worked with clients where they've only received 50% of what they wanted and they had a, a belief of that I have to share what they're given. So it meant that they couldn't fully receive everything that they wanted to receive because they had to share it. Does that make sense? Obviously, we have the whole thing of good girls share, good boys share, everybody shares. <laughs> So it is the context of which, which it's within. What we want to, if you're thinking about receiving what you desire to receive in terms of money in your business, do you have to share what you're given with your siblings? No, it's your business, but you don't want that belief running in your business. If you didn't get an energy reversal, then you don't have to release it. Hooray! <laughs> so yeah, you've got a note to that, you don't have to release it. Okay, so if you've got some energy reversals as you're doing the releasing statement, just tap on the party chop and just notice how it feels. You can pause on tapping on the party chop if you find that easier to scan your body. So you can connect in with the somatic response. So we'll just give you another minute just so you can dive through those. Let me know when you're complete in the comments. And then we'll create some aligned coherence. Get you calibrated to uh, receiving all that you desire to receive. Should we go strong? Yes. Yeah, it's deep work, deep work. Okay, beautiful, so we've got that connection coming in with the other bodies responding. And then the subconscious goes, ah, you're aware of that. Okay, it's easier to let it go. Yeah, so it depends, Jill. So Jill's asked a question, how do you interpret when the body goes a little both ways when muscle testing? So um, if you, some people, everyone's sway is so different. I, I absolutely love it. And so when I'm working with people, some people naturally will have a little bit forward and then going back. So just as you're coming to kind of learn, how, you know, the, the nuances of doing this, because there's a whole lot more than just yes or no. Um, but for now, is recognizing. So if it uh, if you typically do that, then just accept that as that's typically you but if you don't typically do that and then you do that is then going okay so is it that actually you're sort of stuck going backwards and forwards like that which would be um typically an energy reversal or maybe going side to side like that does that make sense and people will have depending on the amount of energy around something so if you um <clears throat> typically um have a, a pretty standard sway and then some have a tiny sway on something then there's not much energy around that or it's from a past life or if you have a sort of standard sway and then suddenly you go flying through the room <laughs> then there's a lot of energy around that you can use that to help measure Alrighty, so let's move on to creating that aligned coherence i hope answering that question helped again please do Pop your questions in the in the comments. I'm here for it. Okay, so yeah, the replay will be on the on the replay page for you. If you've got the um, 
the official replay page has expired actually just remembering that so if you need a backdoor replay page then let me know and we'll sneak one over to you so that you can uh, tune into the replay so just email the team at clientcare at louisahavers.com because they'll pick it up more quickly there than they will in the dms because facebook's being weird <laughs> Alrighty, okay, so let's create some aligned coherence. So I'm going to invite you, we're going to do five inner rewiring techniques. So I want you to repeat internally the following. So we're going to do one minute of each one. First one is I'm safe to receive all of myself. So we're going to do that for a minute. The second one is I can receive all of myself. We'll do that for a minute. The third one is I have permission to be all of me. The fourth, I love and accept myself completely. The fifth, I am a worthy receiver. So I'll give you a heads up when to switch over. And then we're going to do two minutes out loud. And you're going to say, I'm so happy and grateful. I've just now received the amount of money that you've been calling in over the next 30 days. So 100K, 10K, 1K, whatever your number is. I feel so accomplished, motivated and flown. And you can just say that out loud. And for that, I really invite you to notice how your body is responding to the words that you're saying. And allow yourself to, to, to feel that. Alrighty, okay, so I am safe to receive all of myself. I'm going to do that together now. So just inviting you just to start to breathe in for four. Breathe out for four. Start to fill your heart up with the feeling of love. Your heart is getting bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. In this place. Start repeating internally. I'm safe to receive all of myself. I am safe to receive all of myself. This one, you're not tapping or doing anything. You're just repeating. I am safe to receive all of myself. I am safe to receive all of myself. And if this feels good to do so, you can have your arms out open wide so you are receiving all of yourself. I am safe to receive all of myself. Just notice how this feels as you allow yourself to receive all of yourself. Okay, we're going to move on to I can receive all of myself. So I can receive all of myself. I can receive all of myself. Opening your arms out wide. I can receive all of myself. This is full acceptance. I can receive all of myself. Notice how this is feeling in your body. I can receive all of myself. I can receive all of myself. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. I have permission to be all of me. I have permission to be all of me. I'm going to do that for one minute. Mm 
Beautiful. We're going to move on to the fourth one. I love and accept myself completely. I love and accept myself completely. Beautiful. I'm going to now move on to one minute of repeating internally. I am a worthy receiver. I am a worthy receiver. Again, just noticing how your body responds. I am a worthy receiver. Beautiful, beautiful. Alrighty, so we're going to switch up gears a little bit, come back together, and I'm inviting you now to, for two minutes out loud to just be repeating, I'm so happy and grateful I have just now received over whatever the amount is. I feel so accomplished, motivated, and in flow. And then just keep repeating that, and just noticing how your body and your energy field is responding you to responding to you saying these words out loud we'll do that for two minutes Beautiful, beautiful. Welcome back. Now you've raised your frequency to this state, inviting you to live in the energy of the question when you're thinking about your intention. How can it be easy? So we're just going to sit with this question. We're not going to try and consciously answer it. 
we're just going to ask it from an energy of curiosity, wonder and awe. How can it be easy? How can it be easy? Allow yourself just to write down any intuitive ideas you get now. Some will come to you now, some will come to you during the day. When the bit that you get to take action on is on these intuitive ideas, the whisper of your higher self, the synchronicities that you start to see in your field around you, take action, even if it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Especially if it doesn't make sense, take action. Come back together in a minute. I'm just giving you this space just so you can notice what you notice. Are there five people that you can reach out to to see how you may be able to help them? Maybe they've inquired about your services before. To see how they are. Maybe now is the time that they're ready to say yes to themselves. The timing's lined up. Alrighty. How is everybody feeling? Feeling good? Christina, do this every day. This is how you go deeper with this. This is going to really amplify because every time you think a thought, it's got an energy around it. So it's really important to, to have a, a daily practice around this. This is why I created the, the Helix Method daily practice part of the, the work that we do so that you can really amplify the energy and balance that alongside the deep inner healing. You'll be unstoppable. So we're inviting you to think about how are you feeling? What has been your takeaway? And within that, what have you received? What have you allowed yourself to receive? Let me know in the in the comments. We can witness you, celebrate you. We wrap up our time together. Doing amazing, deep gratitude. Thank you, Lisa. The wealth of being fullness of myself. Oh, that is awesome. That is so awesome. Another receiving is I can block my block receiving by not asking for what people might be happy to give me. Yes. Ah. Oh. Gratitude. Gratitude. Thank you for being you, for being here. Thank you for being with me during this time for Limitless Wealth. I hope that this has served you. It has been a total joy to, to teach you and to allow you to see what is possible. You've had breakthroughs. You've had energetic shift. It's just been wonderful to, to see what's come through for everybody and clarity on things that might have been feeling a bit sticky before. And if you are really feeling that pull and you're feeling excited about what we've created together and you want to build on the momentum that we've started, then I would love to invite you to, to stay and to continue with me. And I'd like to invite you into my inner circle. And this is how you can take everything that you've learned and what we've shared over our time together and amplify this by tenfold fold so that you can hit your financial revenue goals with complete confidence, optimize your well-being and vitality in your body and have relationships that match your frequency and support you in your in your brilliant life. You now know you've got that clarity on what's been in the way and you've been experiencing how you can use our techniques, you can activate the peak flow state, but this is just so key for your success. And thank you for being part of our community 
together we've activated a higher frequency so you can become an energetic match to your to what you desired and you've understood how the key part of how we create our reality is by balancing that deep inner healing with the impactful manifesting rituals with the with the helix method so you know what to do for your breakthrough you can take action off all this transformational training that i've given you for free if you want to take it further then i am here ready to help you and to take all that momentum that we've created and to transition this into an unbelievable journey of being fully self-expressed in your wealth consciousness in your health in your relationships so if you are ready, I am delighted to invite you to the inner circle where we will be breaking through the six energetic blocks of receiving. This is one of the main things that we, we help visionaries and leaders and coaches and healers and consultants like you to elevate in order to be able to embody a new level of confidence as they're confronting you know, the blind spots collapsing the timelines around any personal challenges that are coming up and start to see the ripple effect across all areas of life and relationships and, and money and wealth. So I'd love to just take a moment just to share this with you. Let me share my screen so you can see your invitation to the inner circle. So beautiful to see all your faces. Let's see, screens as well, so you can see it, otherwise it'll be too tiny. Oh, too tiny writing, there we go, can you see my screen? All right, so this is the inner circle, where you will create fast, predictable results anytime you want, because being in peak flow state, that is absolutely key to your, to your success. So imagine being able to have that complete confidence that you will hit your financial goals and make your next level of success inevitable. Be attracting your dream team, attracting high caliber professional opportunities. Maybe you'll be calling in the calling in the one. You'll be able to show up in this most empowered way. Be fully self-expressed. Be able to be empowered to express your needs, your desires, your boundaries without triggering a fear of rejection or fear of leaving others behind. And to be able to love your body and feel so good in your skin as you heal and let go of the energetic imprints of traumas and that are there in the subconscious instantly and permanently and ultimately you'll be elevating to a higher frequency and be able to hold that flow state for, for longer so you can attract the generous experiences that your soul desires so no more trading success in one area of life for another so you can have that sense of fulfillment and being able to have love and be the millionaire if that's what you desire. You can heal the emotional root causes of your health issues and see your vitality optimized. So this is the Helix Method in the circle. And as soon as you say yes, you receive instant access to our private membership site and Telegram group where you'll be able to network with an incredible community of like-minded high achievers. I'm so excited to welcome you in. And what you receive, just scroll down here so you can see. So as part of the Helix Method in a Circle, you receive our three Helix Method programs. You receive the Love Codes, the Wealth Portal, and the Body. We're going to be running the Love Codes live in October to December 2024. So when you step in now, you get instant access to all our previous recordings, and then you, so you can start diving in and experiencing results straight away. And then you can experience this live in October and experience the thrill of upgrading your relationships for your most actualized self. And enjoy a new level of confidence. Take back your personal power as you become a supernatural manifester and embody that highest frequency so that you start to make massive leaps in, in, your, in your life. We'll then move into the Wealth Portal in January. So you'll experience this live. Wealth Portal is powerful where you'll be breaking through hidden money ceilings. As you heal these energetic blocks, you start to see the energy moves. You start to have more opportunities coming in. You want to prime your nervous system for exponential growth so you can say goodbye to these energetic blocks. Make your manifestation inevitable. We run that live from January to April and then we have the body 
a limited edition. We'll be running that live from May to June in 2025. And when you come in, you get immediate access to the current body. So you can dive in straight away. And I've been speaking to some of you this week. And it's like saying that's that's a priority for you. And you'll enjoy a completely new relationship with your body and optimize that, your well-being. So this is absolutely key for, for your frequency, letting go of the stress that's creating that disease in your body. And I've carefully curated this for your integration and, and embodiment. So you will have access to a membership site, private telegram, so that I'm in there with you and you'll have 12 months of energy coaching support via the telegram, plus all the trainings in the membership membership site as well as the live calls that we have access to, uh, that you have access to together and you also have i always think the communities groups come together for a reason so everybody that's in the group is there you're meant to meet them <laughs> so it's always so exciting to see how the friendships evolve and the collaborations that evolve as well um, and i really actively encourage everybody to to meet each other have cups of tea and to, to network to to see how you can collaborate and create partnerships and lifetime friendships as well and I have two incredible bonuses for you as well as part of the inner circle. We've got the Helix Method Success Codes activations, which is a live experience uh, in August. So you'll have at, you'll receive that as well. If you can't attend live, you'll get that as a as a replay. And you also have an attunement activation for the Akashic Records. So this is a um, a recording that you'll be able to listen to so that you can download this attunement and receive guidance and healing in, in what you most desire at, at that moment in time but really amplify your intuition and your connection with your higher self so you can start to strengthen what you're hearing so and having the courage and confidence to take action on the, on the big stuff that's that's coming through um, and I'm delighted to share that all our programs are accredited by the International Practitioners of Holistic Medicine and truly this is an investment in the inner circle with a, a return on your investment that is going to give to you for the, for the rest of your life. So I'm so excited to invite you to the inner circle. And I have got a special offer for you, um, which is available over the next seven days. This is an early bird masterclass special for you. So instead of the retail uh, rate for a full year with me of 10,000 US dollars or 8,000 British pounds, then there's two ways you can save right now. So in US dollars, you can pay in full for 8,000 US dollars, plus you get a one-to-one -one with me. Um, or if you prefer the payment plan option, then that's 12 payments of 750 US dollars. Or if you are choosing British pounds, then you can save by paying in full with um, 6,000 British pounds um, or the payment plan option of 12 payments of 575 pounds. Um, and so when you come down here, you can click this link here and it will take you to the payment page and then you can choose. You'll see, I'll just show you so that you can see we have the US dollars comes up first and then you need to just scroll down to the bottom of the page if you're on your phone and then you'll see the special offers for the, for the British pounds as well. Um, so I am so excited. Let me know if you would like the, the link so that you can check this out. Um, we have got a special offer for everybody who is shopping in the next 24 hours and coming into the inner circle. I'm just going to get the link for, for people um, that they will get a bonus one-to-one -one with me as well. So, and of course, let me know if there are any questions in relation to that as well. You can always pop me a DM if you're catching this on the, on the replay um, as well. So the date for the bonus for the success codes activation is the 14th of August, and that will be at 11 a.m. British summer time. And the live calls for your experience within the Inner Circle start on the 9th of October. And if you would love to explore working together and to learn more about our other programs or the individual programs, the love codes, the body, the world portal, then just book a call with me. Let me know what you'd like to learn more about and we can we can take it from there. Oh, thank you, Rosemary. Rosemary's saying the world portal is wonderful, highly recommended. Thank you so much. I love having you with us in the world portal. All right, I'm just going to do a quick scan to see if there are any questions and we'll leave the, the room open 
for you. Pop the link to the inner circle here. And the, um, Facebook group as well. You're welcome. There we go. So we've got that. Beautiful. Alrighty. Well, thank you so much for joining us for Limitless Wealth. It has been my highest honor to serve you. I am so excited that we are connected and um, looking forward to continue the journey with those of you that are continuing with us. And I will see you all very, very soon. Lots of love. Take care. Bye-bye.